That's all. One more coming? Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and get started. We're joined now by UC Santa Barbara coach Joe Pasternak. We'll uh, talk to the student athletes in just a minute. Coach, if you can go ahead with the opening statement. Yeah, you know, um, much credit to UC Irvine. Um, coach Turner and their program is the best of the best. They've been the best for a long time, and um, we, have, we have the most respect for them and uh, how they play. They play so hard defensively, rebounding, and, um, you know, I thought it was going to be a battle, and it sure was for 40 minutes. Uh, I thought our guys really, really competed at an um, unbelievable level tonight, uh, executed the game plan both on offense and out-rebounded them 36-29, to 29, which it's not easy to out-rebound Irvine, and just really proud of our effort. Okay, we have any questions for Coach? Hey, Coach. Angus Wong for New, New University UC Irvine. Uh, was, uh, UC Irvine is number seven best scoring defense in the league. How, how did you prepare your guys to um, attack that defense? You know, for us is we do what we do. Um, it's not like we put in some new scheme. It's, it's, we have a, a system, and we honor our process, and we just executed our system tonight very well. Hey, Coach Mark Patton, uh, San Barbara News Hawk. Um, <clears throat> Josh Pierre-Louis uh, looked like he went down hard in the first half. And uh, tell me about his situation. You know, Josh, uh, they took him um, just to do precautionary uh, x-rays, but I think he'll be OK. Hey, Coach. Greg Silver, KCSB Sports. Uh, this team lost a good handful of close games in the first half of the season, but now having won nine of their last ten, it really seems like you guys have thrived down the stretch. Can you just talk a little bit about the maturation of this team over the course of the last few months? Yeah, you know, um, when you lose a Jari, uh, a Jari, he's right here still with me, but when you lose Ja'Cory McLaughlin and Deverell Ramsey, Brandon Cyrus, old seniors, um, you know, it's not, you can't just snap your fingers and everything's okay. Um, it takes time. You know, we have a freshman point guard uh, who's done an amazing job. Um, Calvin Wissart has never been in our system. Like, he's new. Uh, it takes time. And, um, you know, Ajari's been out. Calvin's been out. So uh, we've had a lot of injuries and inconsistencies. But I think once we've gotten healthy again, uh, I think our guards have done a great job of closing games. Derek Clark, uh, KCSB Sports. Coach, you had to change up your rotation just a little bit when Josh went down with that injury. But you got great minutes from Cole Anderson and Calvin Wishart, who made a few heads-up plays down the stretch to save you guys in some of those eight-second near violations. Um, how, how big were those guys' minutes down the stretch, stepping in for Josh when he went down? Yeah, no, no question. Well, Ajari started the second half for Josh, and he was 4-4 four, four from three, 20 points. And, you know, he's still, you know, getting healthy uh, himself. And I thought today was a breakout game for him. Did a terrific job. Cole Anderson coming off the bench. No fear as a freshman in a conference tournament, hitting a huge three. And, and Calvin is so gritty. Uh, five assists to one turnover. Um, did a great job. Any questions for our student athletes? Yeah, Jerry, I know this wasn't the season personally that you you were expecting with the injury, missed a lot of games and so forth, but do you kind of consider this tournament like a new season for you? Yeah, for sure. Being out for four weeks was kind of tough for me. You know what I mean? It set me back a little bit, but you know, I just trusted God and trusted the process. Every day I was in therapy two to three times a day ready to get back in. Like you said, it's a new season for me. I showed that today and ready to roll. Uh, Ajari, you guys come out of half. You're up by two. Um, you come in and hit three threes in that second half. What's your mindset just coming off those screens and catch and shoot right there? Yeah, coming up. Coming out the locker room up too, you know, our focus was defense. So, you know, we got some stops. And then coming off the screens, um, they whipped a lot of screens, which means I just changed it, had some open shots, and I took them. You know, it was my time, and I executed. Yeah, I'm going to do this fourth time around for you here in, uh, for the Gauchos, fourth time all Big West. And to kind of, did that kind of help coming into this? I mean, obviously, you're playing a really good team kind of unexpectedly in the first round, having to play the team played in the finals last year. And, and you just seem so calm out there, like you've been here before. Was that how you felt, or were you pretty churned up? Uh, I mean, 
I mean, being here four times, that helps. Uh, the experience helped. Um, all the minutes that I've gotten, uh, all those helps. Uh, I think just, uh, you know, executing the game plan, um, you know, just being patient, um, let the game come to me instead of just rushing my, my game. So I think that really helped and just stay locked into our process. So. I thought, obviously, that until the very end, Colin Wilp, uh, you guys held him in check, and he kind of turned it up there in the last minute. But um, was there, like, a, a game plan, really, you, you had to stop Colin Wilp? I mean, he's a great player, uh, all league. I mean, anytime you're going against the all league, you're trying to shut him down. Um, I think our guy, Miles, did a great job. Um, Jay came in, did a great job. Rob did a great job. Uh, everybody who guarded him tonight did a great job on him. Um, I mean, he's all league. He's going to get his shots up. Uh, he's going to make some. Um, you know, we just got to live with those and, and keep executing our, our game plan. Any more questions? All right, great. Thanks, everyone, Thanks, for guys. your time. Appreciate Thanks. it.